up everyone acreage living here we just got a new product sent to us from Givinfa on Amazon we ordered these side mirrors for the doors and I gotta say I really like them so let's take a look at these mirrors I'll uh, show a clip here of how they come boxed hey guys here's the box of mirrors this box was shipped in that box they come very nicely packaged. I've opened it up, but I haven't taken anything out. So you got, it's all encased in foam. Here's the instructions. Here's the templates for drilling on your uh, doors. Comes with templates, and these are stickers now. And uh, they're already pre-cut, so you won't have to cut them out. Comes with the drill bit here. You don't even need your own drill bit. There's a smaller head there and a, a bigger outside one. All the hardware, even with Allen keys, basically comes with everything you need here almost. And then here's the mirror. That is a nice looking mirror. There's the glass. It's crystal clear. Comes with protective cover on it. So uh, we'll check that out. And then there's a tightening bolt there underneath. So let's get these mounted. As I drove this machine, I realized more and more that I really wanted mirrors. I parked this thing in the garage all the time, and I got a back in, and I back in the one bay, and I park in the other bay between the snowmobile and the tractor. So to try to back in between that with no mirrors was very hard. I always had to keep getting out. It was a big pain in the butt. So if you don't have mirrors and you're sitting in this machine, this is what you see. So imagine the snowmobile's on that side. You can hardly even see the snowmobile, let alone see that bottom edge of it to see if you're going to hit it. Now with these mirrors, I can just look in that mirror, look in that mirror, and I know that I'm good. It's so much nicer. Parking without these mirrors, I really, I, I hated it. And if you had anything in the box and you're backing up, you definitely can't see anything. This backed up camera with the bumpers doesn't really show much other than around your hitch area. It's not good for backing up. So let's take a close look up. At these mirrors here i just gotta start off by saying the look of them i think is perfect like the size not too big not too small they hardly stick out past that machine if you hit anything they just get bent right in they fold away mirrors and another thing that i think is important and it's kind of small and it's kind of overlooked but the color and the texture of this mirror matches the players perfectly like it's a perfect match here you can get a lot of uh, aftermarket parts that do not match at all. One thing I think they need to do better is how these are installed. You got to drill through the doors and they use these templates and the templates are identical to Polaris's. So it is Polaris templates. So it's not this company's fault. They're using Polaris templates. If you line this edge up, the templates way overhangs here. And then inside here, you're supposed to line this up and then it's not really clear if you go to this edge or if you go to this edge when you line up the template because if you line this up, it doesn't line up to either of those perfectly, in my opinion. It lines up decently here. So it's not just a straight that you know for sure that te template's on there correctly. I, that's what I didn't like about it. I think is what they need to do. See this little divot here? This is for another player's accessory. They have a divot there so you know where to the screw. They should have those divots here. Why can't they do that? But these mirrors are on here solid. Like if you slam this door, they don't move. It's it's solid. There is an adjustment uh, nut down here to tighten this mirror up. And the mirror is actually it's crystal clear. It's a perfect mirror. I, I'm really happy with these. I'm a person who's always using their mirrors when I drive too. Like, used to pull in trailers all the time. So now having the ability to see down the mirror as I'm driving, it's just so much nicer. Getting firewood with the mirrors, backing up to the wood pile between trees out in the bush, or even when I'm dropping off the wood and I got a full load and you can't see out the window. Now I have some mirrors I can look out of instead of being blind. Because even rolling down this window and trying to stick your head out there, it's, it's not that easy and you can't open the door and look back where you're backing up because the doors open frontwards, right? So it's not like you can just look back 
you can't see anything with the door opening frontwards. So I think mirrors are a must. I honestly think they should probably just come standard. If you're getting the ultimate, especially, it should be an upgrade that comes with the ultimate. If you were to buy these mirrors from Polaris today, 229 Canadian on their website plus tax. This mirror here, less than a third of that price. They use the exact same mounting as the Polaris ones. So if you do not like these, you could always go to the Polaris ones because the holes are exactly the same. So I don't think you can go wrong by buying these mirrors first because these mirrors are honestly awesome. I really like them. The quality is very good. I don't think the Polaris ones are worth a couple hundred dollars more. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of these mirrors. If you guys are interested, hit that link and go support Give Info. If you guys want to watch more videos, I got a lot more accessories coming. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Backing in the garage just got a whole lot easier.